What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jackson here today with my little brother Chubbs. What's up, everybody? And today we're going to be talking about Star Wars again. I know, I know. If you're sick of hearing about it, I apologize, but these things do come in threes. And so this is our second part of our one where we were just, The Last Jedi is bad. <laughs> but in the video, I said we were going to try to come up with a way they could fix it and make it good because I desperately want there to be a good movie in there. I don't want to not like it. I don't want it to be bad. It's just bad. Okay. And so I was thinking like while we were re-watching it again, I was like, could they make this better? Could they fix this, Chubbs? Could they fix it in a way that they don't break the continuity following up from The Last Jedi? That's the question. <laughs> because we've come up with a few theories a couple of just like stuff we saw online stuff that we had like heard other people talking about and we've kind of frankensteined it into what we think would be a cool idea but the problem with it is at the end of the day the last jedi kind of threw everything in a trash fire it, it ended up with a lot of things and a lot of this stuff can be explained away and would be for instance so just to take this from the top let's start with the big problems that we personally have because there's a lot of problems other people have that i'm willing to look past and see like it's it's just i can look past it you know what i mean and to see but there's some things i just can't look past <laughs> right chubs yeah not all. so let's start at the top one my main deal is Kylo Ren is fucking stupid. I don't understand why I was hearing so many good things about how this movie made him stronger and better of a character. I was hearing a lot of shit. I was avoiding spoilers, but I was seeing headlines and fucking, you know, fluff pieces about the movie. Of course, it is owned by Disney and that's a good boy list you'll want to fucking be on. You know what I mean? That explains the... Uh, user review versus fucking critic rating you know so like that's but i can't deal with what they did with him where it's like if it's legit the way the movie portrays it as because i could say i don't think snoke's dead i think if snoke's dead it's a dumb thing to do and it's a bad way to go with kylo ren i think snoke should not be dead i think that it should have been a ploy to ease uh fucking ray into the dark side seeing that he was willing to kill him instead of her and it seems like that's what it is anyway because let's face it like that whole scene is just stupid if that's not what it is it's stupid it's stupid that snoke like this all-powerful sith who was able to like rally the fucking remnants of the empire into such a force that they were able to crush the republic and under whatever the time yeah, frame after we're looking 30 at. years of the republic you know having power yeah because they're all right well let's even they, even they're... like there's a shift of structure from the empire to the republic and say you know with palpatine gone with vader gone with the death star gone and with even just like the generals and the uh stormtroopers and all that let's say it'll take what 15 years well i mean you gotta figure the the bulk of the empire it's 30 years people i know and you gotta figure yeah but still that that would help them yeah so over the course of 30 years he was able to bring together the remnants of the empire's army that would take quite a lot of doing because like you're saying generals and vader fucking palpatine Basically, the entire power structure of the Empire has been destroyed because you would assume that most of the more the mo the most powerful generals and people that Sidious trusted the most would have been on board the Death Star when Lando fucking nuked the shit out of it. Right. So, right. like, how long would it have been for Snoke to have like done that? Exactly. And how did he do it? And that's the thing. No, no questions are answered with Snoke. Like. We get no answers with anything, how he did what he did. And, not, like, I'm just... The thing that I'm hearing is that this is all explained in Disney's new line of graphic novels or whatever the fuck they have. The problem with that is, is that I'm not going to go buy all that shit. 
Right. Right. So if they purposefully left this fucking like movie just full of fucking holes so that they could sell like other properties to extend the story, what the fuck are you, Disney? Bungie now? Right. Right. At least, but worse, because at least with Bungie, I could go on their website for free to get the story. That's not how it works. That's you not make how it the works. story of the but movies the thing is, cohesive, the th- and then everything else just expands upon that material. The thing is, that's how is it that, should be. That's how it should be. But the thing is, is like, <laughs> there. This is a great way to monetize the property. Is that if you look at it from a business standpoint, that's fucking genius. Because if I was told that I bought these five books and I would understand everything about Kylo Ren everything about how Snoke seduced him, everything about that, like, and I was a diehard Star Wars fan, I'm going to buy that shit, right? Like, I'm not going to buy that shit. But if I was someone who was a diehard Star Wars fan and I, I heard that, I would fucking spend money on that shit. So it's a brilliant fucking, if that's what it is. I don't know if that's what it is. But so let's, you go ahead, tell them what we think. <sighs> This is what we came up with, but the problem with it, before we run with it, is that it would essentially retcon things that occurred in the fucking Last Last Jedi. Jedi. There are multiple things that occur in The Last Jedi that cannot be explained away. A couple of those, for example, being uh, Force Ghost Yoda. (laughs) <laughs> that's something that's just like even with all my, my head, head fucking yeah. wrapping around the movie and trying to make sense of I it was all, that was the thing i kept like, bringing up i was like because okay so chubbs chubbs says this he says what if fucking snoke is plagueis if you don't know who plagueis is plagueis was palpatine's master super brilliant jedi or <laughs> jedi, sith sith lord he was like constantly fucking with the midichlorians and like testing his powers he on the force. He was trying to end the rule of two, which is another yeah. thing too. He was trying to be the one true Sith and he was trying Basically, to have subordinates that were running yeah. across the galaxy. But he wanted like an entire Sith academy going and uh, he found about um, this is so the, all of this isn't even canon anymore is it? at all at so all. so plagueis is but not the thing canon. is is plagueis is canon because they cannot right away the uh attack of the clones which is where he is referenced by palpatine oh exactly yeah so and his deal was by messing with the midichlorians he's actually responsible for anakin skywalker being born and because it's such a vague answer they don't have to go into all the expanded universe the only vague thing about plagueis is the fact that he found a way to uh experiment by experimenting with midichlorians to uh, create life and even sustain it well, I know that, and he, that's all we that we know. He did canon. bring back like a Sith that was sent to kill him. That's the expanded universe. Okay, so really that, the, that only, doesn't matter. Really, the only paragraph in the movie referencing Plagueis is literally that Palpatine says something along the lines that his master, yeah, yeah, through the because he's using it because fucking Anakin wants Shmia back, so he's like referencing it to more seduce him into the dark side and not only that but at this point he had been having visions of padme dying in childbirth yeah and yeah I, it that's actually true, might be yeah. revenge of the sith where palpatine brings this up i but, think it is and it is definitely in revenge of the sith this is when they're in that uh dope like light show opera place yeah but regardless there is a reference to plagueis and because it is super vague you don't even have to go to the expanded universe stuff he doesn't have to be that alien but race. he says that he could extend life so what Chubbs' theory is, is that Plagueis never died for real. That he had figured out a way to find a new vessel, and that vessel was either Snoke or a previous version. Eventually, though, he became Snoke. Now, how does he do this? I would explain it by Kamino. A lot of fan theories are trying to explain away Snoke being dead by him kind of looking like a Kamino alien. Yeah. I think that's kind of a good theory. But I think that it would be Plagueis who would be creating clones of a certain body type that he could never, or never endingly 
transfer his soul into because essentially and that that's could what be, it is. that could also explain why there's the deterioration like maybe around this point but either way here's the thing though is if if the extended universe isn't canon then can we use that he created anakin sure so that because that the whole deal about Anakin wasn't it that he was looking at well, him the as thing like is, is he, he wanted to get his he was experimenting with midi chlorians yeah. and found a way to create and sustain create life. He what happened a... with Anakin? He is he has no father. Yeah, and that's one thing that was explained through the expanded oh, universe. Is he okay. unwittingly he he didn't know he created yeah it was a side effect of all of his tinkering with the midi chlorians yeah he was concentrating midi chlorians in one area trying to even absorb them into his own body but to like no uh results and you don't even really have to get into the fucking midi chlorians at all if you're doing this in the episode nine or is it nine i'm gonna start losing track it is nine it is nine in the that next one, point. if you do if you do do Plagueis, you don't even have to mention midi chlorians. <clears throat> you just basically explain that he's able to transfer his life essence into a a host that's like with the dark side. Right. Right. So, like at that point, you could even have him be Kylo Ren. Right. I think it would be better if it was all just set up to fucking make Ray think that Kylo did that to get form an even more emotional attachment to tempt her to the dark side. But in that and in that case you could say that he wanted to take over her body. But the thing is is at that point Ray has to be retconned. No. She yeah, yeah. But the thing is is the parent stuff who tells her that? You know what I'm saying? Like, That's who tells her that? Who tells her that? Leia? It's fucking Kylo Ren who tells her that. It's oh, Kylo yeah. Ren. Well, yeah, so her. if that if that whole that whole fucking Snoke killing and all that bullshit was just staged to tempt her to the dark side, then it could just be as simple as fucking he lied to her. Right. About who her parents were. About who she really and was. And she could be Han and Leia's daughter. She could also be, like you were saying, the fan theory. But I think it would be better if she... I, I honestly think that makes it work. Well, yeah. It's the only thing that makes sense in The Force Awakens for if you're looking at the standpoint of, you know, Han and Leia. Why are they thousands of miles apart? Because Han's a deadbeat dad. You know, it would make a lot more sense. It would actually add meaning there. However, the thing is, is... It well, you could say Han left because because she has to have had training. See, the story That's doesn't the tell you, but this with is... my theory, with the fan theory that I looked up, it would essentially be like blocked memories of her receiving training from Luke, who is her father, and it happening at such a young age that when she got to Jakku, she like pretty much blocked off her memory and she couldn't remember who her parents were or anything. You see, but that's like why a it's clean fucked. slate. That's why it's fucked. Because that's some shit you would remember. Well, maybe Luke blocked and her memory. You gotta off. think, like, why would they have just left her on Jakku? Right? Like, why? What if what's more likely is Leia trusted someone? Well, the fan theory was going into Kylo Ren killed Luke's wife. Okay. And so you know and there's like a whole different like ploy there of different things that, you know there's a lot of things that you could use and things that you can try to that's the question away. though but at the end of the day it does there's end too up many things there's too many things so chubbs what he was saying would fix what you were saying we were watching the clone wars again recently and then we got to the episode where anakin's like on that weird planet that looks straight up out of no man's sky yeah the almost Atlas. to the point where fucking george lucas should sue a motherfucking murray yeah but 
that episode and how the dark side dude bit ahsoka and she got like basically went dark side just off of some his but it essence. wasn't really like her going dark side it was a part of him was placed inside of her so basically and was he sentient. possessed her in a small form you see because like it was still ahsoka because he was able to use memories to like taunt anakin but at the same time when it came to the sword she knew what it was used for and she knew the purpose and the meaning of it and so like she, it was almost his voice when she was talking at that point and at that point it was like almost like that's him inside of her twisting her to the dark side kind of thing yeah so basically possession yeah so snoke what's his name plagueis plagueis could have infected luke with a piece of basically a little bit of possession right like a bit of himself essentially like a part of his essence <laughs> i don't think you can fix this fucking next movie i don't know if you can because <laughs> so the thing about that is is that would explain luke going all crazy that would explain why but the thing is is the way that he talks about it in the movie it's not like it was like there was At anything all. like that going on. At all. He it just was... wanted the Jedi to die. Yeah, he's just like, I trained fucking Kylo and, and he went dark side because failures. I failed him. And it's like... It pisses me off because he's like talking about the Jedi's failures and like... What he about should their know successes? The full... Yeah, he should know their full history. He should know their failures as he well know as their, their fucking... successes. He should be able He's to Luke learn. He's fucking Skywalker. He should be able to learn from them. But instead, he fails once because Snoke had already gotten to Kylo Ren. So he fails and he never tries again. He just runs away and he tries to just fucking kill himself off and fuck the Jedi. Their, their balance will find itself out. But there is no balance without the Jedi. Like, what would happen if there's only Sith running the galaxy? There would be an imbalance in the Force. It would all be darkness. You see what I mean? Yeah. There but... needs to be something there that balances it out. Why the fuck is he going off to just be like, ah, I want to well, die? Well, that was the point of Not Anakin. even Yoda did that. What the fuck? But then Yoda shows up, dude, and he's like, yo, Luke. You need to fucking check yourself, motherfucker. And then Luke's like, oh, I'm back to normal now. I did fuck up. I will go save them. But anyway, moving past that. <laughs> Where was Yoda the whole fucking time? Like, fuck, they just, they kind of shit and on Yoda, too. Like, yeah, he's... Yoda comes across as a dickhead. Like, he yeah. could have at any point, like, been like, oh, maybe I should step in and fucking give Luke one last lesson. But it, like, makes him not even seem like he cares about him. Which we know to not be true because they all appear to him at the end of fucking Jedi. Exactly. So, like, we know that at that point, like, there was... Th I mean, it wasn't expressed, but it was assumed that they would then be able to be there to continue his training, right? Right. So, like, that's... Uh, and they're not gonna retcon it, dude. Like, that was the thing we were talking about before we started this video. We were talking about this theory. It seemed really cool. And then I was just like, yeah, but let's go back. And we watched a few more scenes of fucking what was going on. And I was like, see, it doesn't work. It doesn't mesh. It doesn't work. That it Luke, can't continue. That Luke was possessed, like, and that's why he acted like a fucking asshole and, like, was crazy. And, like, it doesn't work. Because, it doesn't. Because he's so aware of who he is at this point. Like, he's just kind of accepted it. And it's, it's just that's the thing they're not going to do it it's not they're they're 100 percent behind ryan johnson and the jedi last jedi which is such a bad they're just 100 percent behind oh it my no God. they're not giving a fuck about anybody who's motherfucker saying makes different. three movies and you all think he shits gold jesus christ dude it's suicide levels like i'm not even fucking joking like that's after i rewatch it i'm like wow this is just like it's less obvious because the coat of paint is more appealing to me personally it does have a retro star wars vibe except for pushed forward and like jacked up and so like it's harder for me to say it's as bad as the suicide squad 
Because the Suicide Squad visually looked like a fucking tween movie to me. And not only that, but the editing. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Okay, let's go with this. There are some editing problems with the uh, Star Wars, but honestly, it's either a directing, editing, or writing problem. There are legit just bad editing issues with Suicide Squad. Yeah, the Suicide Squad is they a fucking They introduced the character how many times? The Suicide Squad is fucking... Okay, fair enough. You know, like, Suicide Squad was horrible. And but like, I you view know, it almost in the same light. Like, I can't rewatch this. Like, we were skipping scenes. I was just like, let's get to the parts that, you know, we can look at and be like, is this viable? But the thing and is... And I just is, couldn't handle it. I was just fucking like, this is making me fucking angry. It's because when you're reading a story or you're in, in emotionally invested in a certain story, right? Any kind. Reading a book, watching a movie, reading a comic book, it doesn't matter. It's how you connect with the characters that forces you to want to see what happens next, right? We see this with The Walking Dead. People fall in love with the characters just to watch one of them die off. Yeah. They all get sad, and then they watch them all go through the same living hell again. And it's still going, and it's still successful, and it's still popular. And it's because people find a way to connect with those characters. Not saying The Walking Dead is like a masterpiece, but at least it has some interesting characters and some interesting character development that people yeah. can actually like connect to on a certain level. It doesn't just jump around and try to fucking make characters... It's like the characters grow, but there's no lesson that taught them that growth. Yeah. And we never understand why Finn can fly. We never understand, like, why Rey can do what she can do. I mean, she has one lesson with Luke, and then one conversation with fucking Kylo Ren, and then she's in the dark side. Yeah. She's doing the she's dark side going trials. Through the and then after that, she beats. She has another conversation with Kylo Ren, and then she's kicking Luke Skywalker's ass. And it, it's this sort of thing that I, I just, you know, you could say that she's fucking Han and Leia's daughter, and then that, that means that she's the one that is the perfect Skywalker vessel that Plagueis wants because he wants to possess it fully. And and you could say that he's even in kylo ren and like you could say that that's how ray knew because there's the sibling bond you know what i mean right if you look at like just all the events of everything it was always like luke was like drawn to leia because they were you know that close it was like they were twins man so they had that you know bond right and it's the sort of thing that it's it's just if that's the way it is then I can, like, look past her being able to, like, fucking clear that cave and, you know, have the resistant re resistant rebels fucking escape through the back. Like, I can buy that. It's easier for me to swallow that pill. Because I'm like, oh, well, she's, like, got all the power of the legacy, of the Skywalker legacy in her. You know what I mean? Like, at that point, to me, she doesn't seem so much of a fucking Mary Sue, like, perfect just like they're just th you didn't earn any of it the thing is, is she's a mary sue at this point she she I is will, the I perfect will, character even no matter what when they she try to do fell? no matter what they try to do with her in episode no, nine no matter how they try to fucking right away and explain this jubble mess with the visual novels and all these other fucking things as it stands from just the movies Ray is a Mary Sue. She has never had a moment where she was tested. She had, like, I don't understand why she went and was convinced that Kylo Ren could be changed. I don't understand that. It doesn't make any because sense. She's because she's perfect that in every was, way. But that was, she is the most unbelievable character but you could of all say fucking like that, time. You could say that the one thing that she had for her was her relationship with Solo. Right? In the fucking Force Awakens where she views him like a father figure. She mourns him and like hardcore is destroyed when he's killed by Kylo Ren. Right? Killed by Kylo Ren. Right? How, why in the fuck that goes away the second she's like oh there's goodness in him I can sense it I can change him like where does she get that point he killed his like, own like look at father. Luke like Luke didn't even get to that point 
until fucking he was like you're not sure when it came to him like i think for sure he was always going to try to make a run at vader but what point did he decide like i can change him i can change him it was in the tail end i sensed the the goodness and it was because in empire strikes back his friends were caught by vader and yeah. he had to leave Dagobah. He was even told he was like, "I have yeah. to leave. I have to go to my." And friends. at the end of Empire, and he gets his ass kicked. Yeah. He gets his hand cut off, and he finds out the most fucking horrifying truth of all time: that Vader is his father. And it was at that point in his head he knew what he needed to do, and that's why. I think well, is that when he decided, or was it much later after he talked to Yoda back on Dagobah and he passed, and then he had the conversation with McGinnis? Who knows? With Guinness. that's the thing. Like that's what you're. That's the question. But that's the thing is that there was Empire. There was well, there was a New Hope. Then there was Empire. Then there was like the first half of fucking you know return of the jedi so like then it what the decision was made in this it's like ray goes from hating kylo ren as the murderer of han solo the person she had put up on a fucking father pedestal you know what i mean which made that's why i thought that he was her fucking dad because to me like he was playing it like I just Not only it that, felt like he was. There and, were so many scenes like Kylo Ren when he finds out that there was a girl involved with the droid. He's like all of a sudden super interested to the point where he force grips the guy by the throat. Yeah. And he's like, what girl? You know what I mean? There's the scene where out of. She leaves Jakku and out of a million fucking planets in the sky, it just so happens it's the same system and the exact same planet that Han Solo is surrounding. Why? Because his son is running around the galaxy and he's slaughtering innocent, you know what I mean? It just seems like, like that there were a be, lot that's of things. why I honestly and not only I that, genuinely but then the thought scene that with Ray Moss. was Han and Leia's daughter. Then and the she scene was with Maz. Kylo's younger daughter, younger and sister. The scene with Maz, the thing where she was by herself with Han Solo and she asks him, so who's the girl? And then it cuts away, but it was like he explained to her who she yeah, was. Yeah, it seemed there. like he knew. He knew. Exactly. But that's, who it's she all was. gone away. It's all gone away. All of that shit has gone away. Like, we don't know so many things. And that's why, when you're trying to think, like, that was the premise of the idea. I was like, yeah, we'll do one on, like, why it's bad and, like, how we could have made a better movie. Because this guy wants to tell fucking Mark Hamill, like, I think Mark Hamill could have made a better fucking movie. Oh, yeah. 100%. I think he could have. I think that he would have surrounded himself with the right kind of people. That he would have made sure that something... I just don't see Mark being the guy that's not willing to collaborate. Right. I just don't. But this Ryan Johnson guy, the way that he treated him, like, you motherfucker, how well, you not like that, but how he treated him, like, when he they were seems filming. Like, he just seems he had like a such a hard dick, time getting Mark Hamill he seems in the like character he's like of Luke Skywalker. He's a bitch artist, dude. Like, it, it seems like he would just not take criticism well. At all. This Ryan guy. So, like, he treats Mark Hamill with disrespect. That's fine. But the problem is, is that all of when we were, I was just like, look. Let's talk about how we could have made a better movie. And I was like, and then the next video we'll do, we'll have it be how they could fix the fucking next one. And we started to talk about that the other night. And I was just, we, we spitballed some things. Then we watched some fucking things. And then we t- shot back some forth some things. And tonight I gave up. I said, let's just do it. I was like, cause Mark was explaining something. And I was like, yeah, but it doesn't explain Yoda. It doesn't explain like this because even if luke had like some sort of fucking sith possession going on some sort of like not powerful enough to destroy who luke was but just powerful enough to fuck him up you know what i mean drive him crazy to the point where he's like i don't want to be connected to the force anymore like maybe that was the his solution to the fucking possession was i'll just sever myself from the force completely and then i'll be unaffected by the fucking sith right so that would be fucking it would and but i was like but dude yoda shows up and he's like i've been a fool and then he reattaches himself to the force and that's when we get to see luke be kind of like luke you know what i mean like that's 
that's kind of the Luke I expected, but it just like, it felt so out of place with who Luke had been up to that point. And it was like one little conversation with Yoda and all of a sudden he's back to being Luke. And I don't think that would have worked. You could say that Yoda couldn't have talked to him because he had detached himself from the force. Okay, that works. But... <laughs> right? Like, how is he talking to Yoda? Furthermore, how is Yoda how is as not, a force how ghost is he not being striking attacked? lightning from the sky oh my God, to destroy works. the temple? Hold on. Okay, fuck that. We can just forget about that. That's one of the things I'm willing to look past. Because with the Jedi being so passive and they, they do have kind of a sense of like, unless we can solve the problem, don't even fucking meddle with it. If it's going to make it even slightly worse. So that's the thing you could say is like, maybe they just never did it because there was never an opportunity where blah, 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 blah. And I know I'm writing the movie for him. I don't care. That's why I can forgive it. Right? There's just certain things I can't forgive. And I don't know but if I can forgive work. that one. Listen, though. it can work though, because check it out. So that's the way it is. It just so happens to coincide that when Luke reattaches himself to the force and sees Yoda and all of this, Plagueis is also with fucking Kylo Ren expecting the arrival of Rey guiding his army because we it's never said or not but I think that I like to believe that when the Emperor was sitting in the fucking throne and he's looking out at the fucking battle I like to think he's like extending force power help to his empire right like I feel like that's the sort of thing that they could do like that was the Jedi's with the stormtroopers. Like they kind of amped them up and gave them, you know, extra abilities just by being near them. That powerful of a force user. Right. I like to think they were able to extend that. And that's why it was like one Jedi with a battalion of troopers could take on like fucking thousands of fucking droids. Right. You know what I mean? So that's, I like to think that it, and I know this is, this is probably just bullshit I'm coming up with, but I don't, that, that would be fucking cool. So, like, if that's the way it is, then Plagueis is sitting there. He's doing that, helping his bat his forces do the fight with the Rebellion. Fucking Kylo Ren is there. He's trying to control Kylo Ren because at this point, Kylo Ren is still obviously having doubts. Or he's just focused on fucking hiding his and Kylo's intentions because it is a fucking scheme. Right? So because he's focused on all these things, he's not able to extend to Luke and fill Luke and influence Luke through whatever he did to where he could do that to begin with. Right. Right? And then after that, he's weakened because that is a physical form and he's rebuilding himself elsewhere or healing it. And that's why there. it looks like he's fucked up and yeah. scarred. It looks like maybe he's been fucked up and rebuilt himself too many times. If right. that makes sense. Yeah. Because I just don't want to believe he's dead. But then, like you say, he's Plagueis. And he's fucking working on Kylo Ren to get to Rey because she's the perfect vessel. Yeah. And so there is that. And then you could do this whole thing again, which really fucking still feels so out of place. Where Rey finds out that she is his brother or sister. He's her brother and she wants to save him. Right, she finds out Han's her fucking dad. I don't Luke's think they should uncle, do that at all. Her mother. I don't think they should do that at all. I think that like it should end with her having to fucking kill him. Kill Kylo? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of the way it seems it's going because it's like, are they going to do that again? And like you were saying with Phasma, are they going to bring Phasma back? Do you think they I would think really they're do going that? to. They'll what is that. their top selling toy, dude? It's Phasma. So they're going to bring her back from fucking garbage shoots. Fuck yeah, and for marketing and merchandising purposes. Death. Oh yeah, for you marketing. You really think and, they got the balls Oh yeah, that. for marketing and merchandising purposes. Then again, fuck, they put Chewbacca with the porgs, bro. They don't care. God damn it. They got I, the chandelier This is foxes. the last video we're doing on fucking Star Wars. Because this is done. I, I, maybe there'll be another one like a half a year after the next one comes out when I'm able to see it. Because I'm not going to see any of this shit. I'm not buying anything with Star Wars on it. The next one Unless is, it's good. Next one is a Han Solo backstory. I just don't fucking care anymore. 
So that was our fucking thoughts. As you can see, it amounted to pretty much nothing. We tried to figure out a way of I how we could do it. I just don't think it could work. I think it would be cool to see it happen. This movie just, doesn't mesh. The problem is, is that us doing this is already ruining the next one. And probably any chances of us fucking enjoying it. Because they're not going to do that, dude. At they're all. not going to retcon what he did. What At he all. did. What he did. Now, what you can do is you can definitely make Plaga still alive. I think that's going to happen. You can definitely make fucking, uh, what's her name, Ray, be someone important, have important parentage, because it could totally just be fucking Kylo Ren fucking lying to her. It could have. Like 100%, Kylo could have basically just fucking lied to her to get her to turn on him. Alright? And the thing about fucking him killing Snoke is it plays into the thing of, like, Sith, uh, the mentor yeah. killing the master yeah it it makes sense it fits but it just doesn't feel like that's the point at which it should have happened because i and that's the problem is snoke just isn't explained man and maybe that's their monetization you know marketing thing where they're just like we're gonna have 80 other properties that you have to own in order to understand the entire story and that's fine that's fine i just i'm not gonna fucking buy it i'm not I'm not going to feed this machine unless it deserves it. And it doesn't deserve it right now. Like, it doesn't. Like, none of the new games deserve it. None of the new movies deserve it. At all. What was that one? Rogue One? Rogue One? Like, it was good. I saw it once. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like Marvel fucking movies. It's like you, you say, like, Deadpool was a good movie. Right? How many times have we watched that since the theater? Right, but the thing is about Like, it Ragnarok is... was an awesome movie. I really enjoyed Thor Ragnarok. When was the last time we watched it outside of the theater? It's true. But the That's, thing is... It's is like, they're with worth all a watch of these... once. It's a spectacle. But the thing is... But it's is... so hollow However, and shallow. However, the thing with all of these movies is, yeah, you can watch them once, and you may not really want to watch them again. Like, there was really no rewatch value for you. Somebody else might have some rewatch value. But just talking about, like, as a good movie with, you know, no real plot holes. Uh, conveniences? Sure. You know, uh, ex machinas? Sure. You know what I mean? I will say that. You know, there are obvious uh, conveniences that are going to happen that doesn't feel natural to the story to help push the story along. That's going to happen. But the problem is, is they didn't do but that as at far, all. But as far as, They like, didn't do that at all. But as far as, like, plot holes... He drove the story as to far a as, halt. But as far as, like, plot holes, character development, character staying in character, if, as, if we're talking about, like, all the other blockbuster movies that we just compared The Last Jedi to... All those other movies are fucking masterpieces. The thing is, is I'm, ta- I'm not talking about The Last Jedi. I'm talking about A New Hope. Oh, A New Hope. A New Hope was en- enjoyable to me, but I haven't given any shit to watch it again. That's the thing. Like that's the that's and that might just be me. That might just be my personal thing. But really, like I like these movies when I see them. But afterwards, I'm like, I don't like this. I didn't like Spider-Man: Homecoming. Right. I fucking flat out hated fucking Spider-Man Homecoming. Right. The whole time I was like, this is not the Spider-Man movie for me. I was like, because you were liking it. You were getting pissed at me a little bit. Well, there were things that I liked about it. However, there were things that I clearly were like, yeah, I I agree. I was like, I was bitching the whole time. I couldn't get mad at you, though, because I could totally see where you were coming from. It's not like I was like, like, this is so good. It's like the new It, when we went and saw that in theaters. Like, I didn't enjoy that fucking movie. Like, me and you were talking shit on it the whole time. Like, leaning over to each other, every other fucking, like, whispering. And we were in a secluded area. But the thing is, is I'm like, this is a waste of fucking money. Like, this is, I could do this at fucking home. Like, there's no reason for me to be here right now. Yeah. Like, I'm getting, and that, the, the thing is, is what has happened is that is so many people. I can hear, always I hear people talking in the middle of movies about not even the fucking movie. Like, they're just zoned out of the fucking movie. And you have to question, okay, this is the point that we've gotten to because production companies fucking people with the money behind the film they want to make money that's it they don't care if it's good they want it to make fucking money that's it okay like that's all they fucking care about 
And so you got this, this fucking in Hollywood, this weird scramble around these movies that do so well that you just see them mimicked. Like Pacific Grim is a fucking Transformers movie, right? It's a better Transformers movie in my opinion, but it's a fucking Transformers movie. Right, it's definitely right? style like it's, over substance. Yeah, it's it's that With sort giant of movie. Robots, yeah. That's what it is. Like it's a straight up like action fucking, you know, big budget fucking like spectacle. Right. You know what I mean? Like I know that's what it is. I'm going to watch it. I'll enjoy it. I'm not going to go pay for it in the theater. Because it's just not worth it to me to sit there and like be like, "Oh, this is awesome <laughs> during the good parts." But then like during the dumb parts just being like, "Wow, this is dumb." I'd rather be at home just sitting on our couch and fucking like chugs this is dumb. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's that's the thing. Like so for me, the reason I haven't I went and I saw The Force Awakened in the fucking theaters. I went and I saw a, the A New Hope. Uh, a ro- a rogue, rogue One. A, a rogue, rogue One. one. <laughs> a Rogue Hope. I went and saw Rogue Hope. And both of those I was just kinda like, I liked them. But it felt like the Marvel ones. And after having seen the Marvel ones, I was just like, I, I'm not going to go see any more Marvel movies. Like, I don't feel like it's worth it to me to go see Marvel movies and pay for the fucking ticket and sit there. And I really, I don't enjoy the theater. Right. Like, I don't enjoy the theater. Like, I don't enjoy going out in fucking that sort of a setting with a bunch of people in Much, a dark fucking room. Yeah. Like, I don't fucking enjoy it. So if the movie isn't worth it, I'm not going to go see it. But the thing is, is a lot of these movies aren't fucking worth it, right? But people go and they sit there and they watch it and they're like, yeah, it was good. Because they look online and they see people talking about it on Facebook or on Twitter. And they're saying, oh, it's good. Oh, they say it's good. I like this one. It's good. And it's it's a fucking, that's real. That's real. I was on Facebook. That's fucking real. That is real. It's true. I've seen the fucking opinion of the group. And watched it de- evolve and develop. So, like, I understand. It's like, that's the thing. That's why I love that clip of Mark Hamill when he's just like, in Hollywood, it doesn't have to be good just so long as it makes money. He says something to that effect. So true. I feel like that's the same way video games are now. It's it's just, that's, that's the sort of thing. They want money. Oh, yeah. So... I'm I'm done with the Star Wars Mark. You done with it? I'm done. I'm done too. I just I wanted to do it because I said we were gonna do it and I was thinking about it really hard and honestly I just I So I I, I just I, I'm we glad thought of how I'm you glad. can fix it. The I'm, consensus was you can't. <laughs> you <laughs> just can't. <laughs> you can fix some of it and you can make some of it a good movie, but the fucking thing is is like I don't know if he can make it a go- a great movie. Like, I don't think that he can put out a movie that, like, because that's the argument. The argument is that episode nine is going to make episode eight feel full. How? And make it feel like that's it was... The, that's my biggest I don't problem. think it can either because there's too much time wasted on dumb things. There's not enough time spent on things that really matter to the overall story of the universe. At this point, I am no longer emotionally invested with any of these interesting characters. I don't fucking care. Because they're not interesting anymore. The Last Jedi took any of the mysterious and the intriguing parts of every individual character, stripped all of that from them, and then is expecting us to give a shit about it when they grow throughout like a two and a half hour film or like a 30 minute story arc that leads to nowhere like Finn and Rose it's like Jesus fuck can we just get over the fucking pointless subplots that lead to nowhere already can it end after that's the thing is it's like it can't be done third movie's coming out it should be the culmination and the ending and this is just like a misfired shot. It's two and a half hours of just bad story writing, bad editing, and bad fucking... Just bad. I'm more excited for Mahler's review of it than I am for it. Exactly. And I won't even I won't even care. Like, if he has that shit up before it's out and I've been able to see it, I don't even give a fuck. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Oh, yeah. Like, that. that that's the thing. Like, after I had watched the last jedi and found mauler's videos 
and watch them, I was like, this makes this so worth it. Oh, yeah. Like, this made it worth it. Because I didn't like it, but I didn't like... I didn't... I didn't even think about it as deeply as he did. Like, he went right. into it. There were things that I didn't like, and I was just like, Jesus. I was like, they fucked that up, dude. Yeah. And that was kind of it, and we moved on. And then when I saw his videos, I was like, holy fuck, dude. Like, it is so bad. You don't really understand how fundamentally wrong and I think how there's bad a lot of people works. who just will not watch his video. I knew people. Like, I knew personally people. When Destiny 1 came out, and I discovered B. Dobbins' videos, and what he was saying about Destiny, and what they had done, and the deal with Activision, how much money it was making, how much of it had been strip-mined for later dates, i.e. Destiny 2, right? Calling shit that I was like, holy fuck. And right. I was checking dates, and then it was happening, and I was like, holy fuck, right? There were people I knew that would not watch those videos. They fucking refused I said, why? Because he's just a fucking, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to fucking hear it. Why? Why? Why not? Why don't you want, dude, check it out. Just listen. It's the other side of your argument. You will have a stronger argument if you know what you're arguing against. Exactly. But there are people who will never watch Mahler's videos. Will refuse to. Because he starts it out like fucking, he says, look, I'm going to be fucking ripping this shit apart pretty much. Yeah. Right? He doesn't swear. He's doing it kid friendly. It's fucking amazing videos. But he will have people who just click away at a certain point, not listen to anything else he says, not listen to the fucking hundreds of dozens of fucking things wrong with this fucking movie, just because they are so bent on their angle. I've watched good reviews for Star Wars. I've watched what people have said good about it. You've told me shit that you've seen on Facebook and all those groups. You've told me, like, this is what they're saying. This is what they're saying. Yeah. And so, like, I understand the other side, but I also see Mahler's side. And I agree with him because a lot of the shit he was bringing up, I was talking about. Like, I was talking about how weak and flimsy those fucking ships were. I'm like, did you see that? You were like, what the fuck? Did Do they that not have just shields? knock out like three of them? Yeah, done. I was just, like, what the fuck? Yeah, in the first I was scene. like, just, and it was just to get to the point where it was one ship. Just one ship. So that she could have that tense moment. Just cruising along like a grandma like me. So I could not give a shit because they're fucking flying these way horrible fucking ships i don't feel bad at all that <sighs> any of those anyway people but died. then i watched mauler's video and mauler was you know and it was like destiny like i was already fucking pretty much over and done with fucking destiny when i found b dobbins videos yeah i was already over and done with it but when i watched those i was like holy fuck like it validated a lot of what right. i had felt in words that I couldn't have formed. You felt like it was fucked up in certain parts and areas, but you didn't really understand... The depth. The depth of the fuck up and how yeah. many there were. And with Star Wars, it would have been impossible to without fucking multiple viewings. Because I watched the thing once, and I was like, Chubbs, I did not like that at all. That was bad. I did not like where they went with I that. I remember screaming during it. Like, yeah, dude. I was like, especially when Haldo... Finally, it was revealed her plan. I was like, she is the most worthless fucking character. She was just. I have ever bitch. seen. She was just <laughs> being a bitch to be a bitch. Exactly. There is no other excuse for that. Other than for her to fucking have Poe build up this drama to this confrontation that happens so that she can fucking like shoot out her own people. Because they're fucking dumb for mutiny. Yeah. Even though I wouldn't tell them what they were, what we were doing. Yeah, and they're all dying <laughs> in the middle of fucking space on the run. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. I'm done with it. You done with it? I'm done. We're done with it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time, keep being awesome, stay safe, fucking love each other, and always remember, none of this shit matters. It's all just fucking whiffs. Whiffs of shit.